Good morning everyone Welcome to PPW channel Hello, I'm teacher Ellie We are going to learn about the digits and the value of the numbers So are you ready to learn children? Very good So what is value and digits? That is our vocabulary for today Value and digits Value and digits or place value in this lesson you will learn the two digits of the two digit number represents amounts of tens and ones. Now I have here a some example that you really understand. For example, look at the ten digits. Two tens are twenty. Very good. How about next one? Look at the unit digit, 5 units are 5 ones, right? So 2 tens and 5 units or ones is equal to 25. Now it's your turn, but remember, when you see it, say it, the number. 26, what is the answer? 2 tens and six ones very good how about that one 16 what is your answer one tens and six ones very good and the last one 35 three tens and five ones now I am here a short video clips to really understand what is tens and ones and and know the place value of the numbers are you ready let's go when we look at a number like 35 each digit in this number has its own value there is a number in the ones place and a number in the tens place. Let's have a closer look at each number to see its true value. The ones place is furthest to the right. The number in the ones place always equals itself. In our number 35, the five is in the ones place. Its value is just that, five. It is represented by the five ones cubes. The next place over is the tens place. The number in the tens place is always 10 times the value the number shown. It's like counting by tens to the number you see. In our number 35, the three is in the tens place. We can find its value by counting by tens three times. Let's try it. 10, 20, 30. The value of the three is 30. Another trick you can remember is to just put a zero at the end of the number. The three in 35 is represented by the three tens blocks, which equals 30. In the number 26, the six is in the ones place and the two is in the tens place. The six is worth just six, which is represented by six cubes. The two is worth 20 because it is in the tens place and is represented by the two long tens blocks. You can count by tens using the base 10 blocks or just count in your head. 10, 20. I'll leave you with a challenge. Can you tell the value of the digits in the number 52? What is the value of the five? What is the value of the two? I'll give you some time to think. But if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, here's the answer. The two is in the ones place, so it's just worth two. The five is in the tens place, so we'll have to count by tens five times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The value of the five is 50. 
remember to look at the place the digit is in before you decide the value of that number. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. See you next time. And now we are done watching the video clips about the place value or identify it. Let's proceed to our exercises. Let's answer our exercises. As you can see, we have different numbers that have underlined the single digit of 1s and 10s. All we need to do, identify the place and the value. For example, 38. As you can see, 1s and 8 value is the example of 38 numbers. How about the others? 57 7 that have underlined, right? Very good. So place value of 7 is 1's and the value is 7. How about 98? As you can see, the 9 and 8 is the 9 tenths and 8 ones. Very good. Thanks is the place value of the 9 and 90 is the value of the 9 tenths. And the rest of it, thanks and 60 and 49, 9 ones. Now, let's proceed to your activity. In your Math in Action workbook, look the page only 60. Answer activity, write the place and the value of each underlined digit. So now, let's proceed to our next lesson. But I hope you really understand the first topic that we have tackled today. So are you ready? Let's go! So this is the continuing of the first topic that we learned earlier. So our next lesson is relatable of the place value writing numerals 21 to 100 in expanded form. As you can see, expanded form is a specific way of writing the digits of numbers that you've broken into each of its component place values. For example, 67 is equal to 60 plus 7. 60 or 6 tenths plus 7 ones is equal to 67. That is the using addition sign in the place value. Now, let's go to another example. This is the example of expanded form tens and 1, 2 tens plus 5 1 is equal 25, 20 and 5. Very good. So now, there's a lot of example you really know about Ex uh, expanded form. Look the first example, number 23. 20 plus 3 is equal 23. How about the 17? 1 tenths plus 7 ones equal 17. How about the number 55? 5 tenths plus 5 ones. 55. Very good. How about the 89? 80 or 8 tenths plus 9 ones. Very good. Great job. Now I have here a short video clip that's a many given example of place value by doing expanded form. Are you ready? Let's start. Go math. Expanded form, which is the expanded form for the number 42. The digit 4 is in tens place, so the value of 4 is 40. The digit 2 is in ones place, so the value of 2 is 2. Together, the expanded form for the number 42 is 40 plus 2. You are right, the correct answer is 40 plus 2.
which is the expanded form for the number 37. The digit 3 is in tens place, so the value of 3 is 30. The digit 7 is in ones place, so the value of 7 is 7. Together, the expanded form for the number 37 is 30 plus 7. You are right, the correct answer is 30 plus 7. Which number completes the statement, 20 plus 8 equal to 28? You are right, the correct answer is 28. Here is another statement, 60 plus 5 equal to 65. You are right, the correct answer is 65. which is the expanded form for the number 91. The digit 9 is in tens place, so the value of 9 is 90. Digit 1 is in ones place, so the value of 1 is 1. Together, the expanded form for the number 91 is 90 plus 1. You are right, the correct answer is 90 plus 1. Which is the expanded form for the number 86. The digit 8 is in tens place, so the value of 8 is 80. The digit 6 is in ones place, so the value of 6 is 6. Together, the expanded form for the number 86 is 80 plus 6. You are right, the correct answer is 80 plus 6. Here is another statement 70 plus 9 equal to 79. You are right, the correct answer is 79. Here is another statement. 50 plus 3 equal to 53. You are right, the correct answer is 53. Now we are done watching the video clips and there's a lot of example on how to do the expanded form so let's proceed the exercises but before that i hope you really understand it our activity in your modern action workbook look at the page 63 and 64 answer those activity one two and three i hope you really enjoy it and learn from teacher ellie See you next time. Goodbye.